Number 76. Write the Lewis structures of the reactants and product of each of the following equations and identify the Lewis acid and the Lewis base in each. Okay. So writing the actual Lewis structures are going to be a review. In Chem 1, on this channel, we did tons of questions figuring out how to actually write the Lewis structures. So if you need like a more in-depth, you know, explanation as to why these Lewis structures are what they are, just go back to that chapter. I think it's like chapter, maybe it's chapter uh, eight, seven. I think it's seven. But anyway, I just wrote down here what the valence electrons for oxygen and sulfur are. They're six each. So we're just going to use that to write these structures. Okay, so oxygen with the two negative. Looks like oxygen is just by itself. And oxygen generally has two lone, not two, six uh, valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But this two minus means that it gained two electrons. So I'm just going to put two. And now it has an octet. It has eight total electrons. So I'm just going to say that this oxygen had the two minus charge. Now let's include it with the SO3. Well, sulfur is less electronegative than oxygen. So sulfur in the middle surrounded by the three oxygens. And I mean, for geometry reasons, I don't care where you put the oxygens. I'm not taking geometry into consideration. So I'm just going to put them, you know, right on top and on the left of each other. Six for each oxygen. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And actually, I'm going to just draw these two over here. Sulfur has six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're just going to single bond and just see what we can do. We got to make that octet, right? Now keep in mind that we're not gaining or losing any electrons here. So I need to make sure that this oxygen, these oxygens all have octets. So I'm just going to double bond them. And now each oxygen has the octet. Keep in mind though, that the sulfur has 12 valence electrons, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, but that's okay because sulfur can have the expanded octet if it's the center element. And that's perfectly fine here. There's no uh, charges here, so we're good to go. And now let's just write out this sulfur. Okay, well, it just seems that I have basically this compound, but now I have one additional oxygen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to copy and paste this, right? And it looks like I have room for the other oxygen over here. Keep in mind that the oxygen has a total of six valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this also has a two minus charge. So that also means that we gained two electrons. So I'm just gonna put it over here. Usually you gain the two electrons on the more electronegative element. But now, wait a minute. Do you see at this stage of the game, I literally have these two components, but now I'm just going to put them in one single drawing. That's what, you know, Lewis acids and Lewis bases do. How am I going to get these electrons, specifically a pair of electrons, onto this compound? Well, that's why there's a negative charge. Negative charges really means that you know, you have extra electrons that you want to donate to form a pair. So what's going to happen is basically one of these is going to make the pair. Technically, one of these pairs. Sorry if I just circled one of them. Because keep in mind, a bond has to be two electrons. So this pair, which is this pair, is now going to say, okay, I can donate that to the sulfur. So when I do that, it's not going to be a lone pair anymore. It's going to be the bond. But now in this case, the sulfur has way too many. We now have 14 electrons. Remember, 12 is the max. So one of these double bonds, I don't care which one it is, one of the double bonds has to fold. So whether you bring that 
those electrons back to this oxygen, whether you bring these electrons back to that oxygen or back to this one, it doesn't matter. I'll do it over here because I have the most room. So what does that actually mean? Well, when you draw a line like this, that means that these two electrons, it's not going to be a bond anymore. They're going to break and they're going to turn into dots. And they're going to go back to that element. And now they will have just a single bond, but it's still connected. And now sulfur has the 12. And if we did the formal charges to find out who actually has the negative two, it turns out that this oxygen will now have a negative one charge. And this oxygen has a negative one charge. And collectively, negative one plus a negative one equals a negative two. Okay, so now remember the Lewis base is the one that donates. It started off with this oxygen, it brought those electrons to that sulfur. And generally, if you do see a negative charge, which this oxygen has a negative two charge, that's going to be the Lewis base. The one that kick starts everything off is always the base. And then the one that accepts the electrons is the Lewis acid. Keep in mind that the acid and the base are always going to be on the reactant side, not on the product side. But we use the product to just see what's going on. Okay, that's it for me. What do you think? I really hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool YouTube channel. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers. That's incredible. And it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. My brother and I, we really do appreciate you all. And I, I'm really hoping that we're helping you out with your classes. Okay. All right. Thank you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.